We're at Sacramento Land Fest right before the final drawing. Here's everybody up front saying hi. Looking around. Let's get everybody to say Land Fest. Let's get everybody over here to say Land Fest. Come on, look at this. Land Fest! Um, I expected to have a fun time when I signed up for Land Fest. Uh, a lot of interesting people, that's for sure. Uh, just fun gamer time. Um, it was the first big land that I have had ever been to. Um, and, you know, prior to that, it was pretty much just small little house lands. So I was expecting it to be, like, something that was totally unexpected, something I'd never experienced before. And that's what it happened to be. I expected when I first signed up was honestly just a bunch of people playing video games. I did not expect all of the contests and all of the other awesome events that have taken place here so far. When I signed up for Land Fest, I had no idea what I was ex what I was going for. I've had land parties before, but they were nothing like this. This was a whole new experience for me. I've never had some so much fun just standing around and having a uh, gaming. Uh, the first time, I just expected to do like hardcore competitions, uh, but now I realize it's more about just hanging out friends, having a good time, uh, but also keeping your competitive nature. Bigger and uh, better, uh, a lot of things to do. I always meet up with friends uh, that I've seen here uh, many other times. Uh, kind of expected exactly what's going on. My, a lot of people playing a lot of different games and, uh, and a lot of, you know, really well organized. And it's, it didn't shatter expectations, but the expectations were high, so that was... Uh, once you guys finish your video check, when I have to find up, you know, I was expecting a lot less people, that's for sure. Uh, you know, a lot of people with like super high end computers and you know, uh, new found technology. But no, everybody here is legit. They're, you know, even the guys who do have that stuff, they, they just they just love chatting. You know, they're not, you know, they're not super snotty about it, which is cool. I don't have a good rig, so I was kind of worried when I came here that I wasn't going to be able to play a lot of games. But um, really. That's not, it's actually important to me to have the time I came here and I'm just chilling with people and it's pretty awesome. So, I mean, I actually just got blown away. No clue. It was kind of an odd thing. Didn't know what was going on, but everybody just said, oh, come on, it'll be fun, it'll be good. It's a new thing. So, I did it, I loved it, it's awesome. One thing I love about uh, Landfest is the ability to have it close by. You know, it's only about an hour away from where I live. Uh, it's cheap. I get to go on campus at a Intel facility, so that's awesome, just so in by itself. And I know some of the people that are there, so it's nice and comfortable for me. The people, uh, the atmosphere is really comfortable. A lot of really nice people, um, you know, uh, lots of gaming. They're really you know, good about that. Some lands are not as focused on gaming, so I enjoy that aspect of it. I think the best thing I have love about attending Land Pest is it gives me an excuse to play video games for 72 hours straight without having to worry about anything. Uh, the best part about Land Pest is uh, hanging out with all my friends and winning swag and prizes. What I like most is really just hanging out with some of my friends that I don't see too much. Uh, just having fun, play games, uh, have some teamwork going, all that stuff. What I love uh, about the Land Fest is uh, all the cool people and uh, playing the games and having a lot of fun. Really seeing my friends win prizes, I can only have everyone being big here, but uh, you know, probably winning uh, a game as a, as a group. What I like the most is just the atmosphere. A lot of people just came to come to have fun, and you know, just everyone willing wants to play games. And, you know, get to see all the cool. Just have a cool environment with fun people. Just all the people. It's really fun to come here to see all the other people who love the game like I do, and it's just a lot of fun. The tournaments are awesome as well. Got to got to be the community here. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, you got people up. I mean, I I didn't get a seat next to my friends, which I was hoping to get, and 
I'm chilling with some really cool people like right next door and I'm just talking to some random people and they're just talking back and having a good time and it's really cool. I mean if you have if you're playing a game that you play the game and you start talking about the game and you just sit there and chill for a couple hours about that. It's awesome. Cool. And what you can learn, the entertainment you get by watching the people and what they do in gaming, it's awesome. I do love uh, the fact that I get to uh, uh, own or pwn people uh, that I know uh, and get to yell at them in the public, which is always fun. Whenever we do the Battlefield Massive Battles, so Battlefield 2, and hopefully we get some Battlefield 3 Massive Battles going on. Fantastic. Is every time I've won a prize in the raffle. When we did the motherboard talk, I was first up, I tossed it and got the closest anyone possibly won. Won instantly, effectively. Getting picked up in the Team Fortress competition and, and we won it. <laughs> so, random, winning a random pub is cool. Shocked that I won a uh, i7 uh, Intel um, processor. That was really cool. I've never won anything in my life. Uh, seeing all of the really cool case uh, case mods that people have made, uh, just put a lot of effort and have a lot of love for uh, their hobbies. Just meeting a lot of people from uh, Team Fortress 2. A lot of people came out here from all over the country, some people from Canada, East Coast, and stuff like that. So it's just really cool meeting new people. We've got to be where I actually got a good good group going on League of Legends. That was, that was pretty awesome. We actually got random people, hey, you playing League? Yeah, I'm playing League. Alright, let's do it. And we just rocked the game. So. We need to remember, but it's just, years past have been awesome. Always great. Honestly, I would say that anybody who gets down on video games is going to be new. Like, the, the question is, who would enjoy this the most? And I, honestly, I, I see there's a 12-year-old kid who's been up for three days straight burning through Minecraft, and, you know, and there's like 50-year-old dudes who are just like wrecking face and battlefield. So, I mean, there, there's, there's a huge range of what people can be doing here, which is awesome. I mean, that's what you would really, really want to see as a broad spectrum audience, you know. I guess anything, anybody who would be interested in playing games, uh, who loves computers or is getting into it, and we have uh, sponsors who uh, come in and do uh, little gimmicks like how to build your own rig and so forth. So that's always fun, you know, for, especially for somebody who's starting out. Anyone, this event isn't just for norm, for hardcore gamers. This is for everyone: casual gamers, semi gamers. And people who want to just test their skills sometimes. It's a very fun experience. I think everyone would enjoy this event. Not necessarily a particular type of person. Anyone who's got a PC and they like PC gaming. You have 72 hours for $35. It's crazy awesome. Just sit down, hang out with cool people, play video games, you know, drink energy drinks, and just overall party. It's a great idea. Probably mostly gamers. Uh, but I think anyone from spectators or just system builders or just people want to watch people have uh, play games or compete would, would like this event the most. Just seeing the new demo movie and the people that are really super nice here and uh, I think it's for almost everybody. Anybody who's an enthusiast about computer games, I'd say. Uh, a lot of stuff to do here is really interesting. Anyone with an open mind could enjoy Lambfest a ton. To be fair, though, gamer, you have to be some sort of a gamer, but just about anyone can have a lot of fun here. There's anyone who, who can just have fun no matter what, just enjoy the tournaments, you know. Somebody who's funny, I guess. A person who loves gaming, who's into, uh, who's a social gamer, who likes being around people, you know, who enjoy the same thing as them. Uh, people who just love gaming. It's gotta be gamers. Would enjoy. It. Well, if you're a gamer, you're gonna enjoy it. But uh, if you're just into building computers, they have. If you're into free, getting free swag, if you want free swag, come down because they get free swag for nothing. I, I game down. I opened the door, I got Lost Planet too. That's what I got. Right on. Free swag. Everyone loves free swag. I got shiny.
If you got a great, if you like gaming, you enjoy the statue of coming here, playing games, enjoying it. I mean, even if you have a piece of crap rig that you can barely run anything on, bring it, you'll have fun. It's great. Be anyone who likes gaming or uh, just hanging out with friends, playing, uh, having a good time. Um, that would have to be the myth that all gamers are introverted, unsocial weirdos. Everybody I've met here is really, really open and they love talking to you and, you know, we have a common, a common love of gaming and so that helps kind of break the ice um, and everybody's really friendly, you know, so. Hitting this, I would say that that they're all old men who have nothing better to do with their time than to play video games. Um, that would be something I like to disprove because there are plenty of younger kids and younger ladies who are here. That would be interesting and kind of cool to disprove. I think the one thing I would destroy uh, myth-wise is that video game players and that aren't productive members of society. Uh, I just like the overall stigmata that if you play MMOs, if you play video games, you're wasting your life. And that's what I would get rid of. One myth I'd like to dispel once and for all is that not all gamers are guys. There are plenty of girls here. It is a complete false. I got my butt kicked three times today by the same girl. No, three different girls. Uh, the one uh, myth that I would like to destroy is that you have to be gaming the whole, whole uh, three days. You don't necessarily have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to be, you know, all into Lampus. And one thing I like to you know, is uh, you can game without. I I hear a lot that a lot of gamers eat a lot of junk food, but I, I don't eat junk food. I, I go out and I buy regular food, I guess. But I do eat junk food too, but not everyone does it. Not everyone here is a smelly, overweight loser. Uh, and, you know, you talk to enough people, everyone's, everyone's social enough in their own respect. And, uh, you know, everyone's here to have fun, and so long as you have an open mind, it's how you do it. Maybe that, maybe that the networking guys don't know what they're doing, but honestly, these guys are on top of their game, so I don't know, that would be the only thing. So we're not all greedy idiots that think only about gaming, or, or be Satan worshippers. We're great guys, we do a lot of charity, and we enjoy doing it too. I've learned from Landfest that you don't have to have a whole lot of money. You just have to have uh, a lot of good, hard-working people, some good sponsors, and you can uh, get any kind of get together with video games and have a good time. Uh, and it's not that hard uh, as far as you know, putting forth a little bit of money, driving down. It's quick and easy to do. Um, it does take a lot of effort on the sponsors and admin side, but as far as the attendees, it's not that hard to do, which is really nice. So, um, I would advise uh, whoever is starting Outlands that this would be the first place to go. It's close and simple. Um, you don't have to worry about, for example, driving down to San Jose three hours and paying hundreds of dollars for just a ticket and then the gas and whatnot. This is quick and easy. Don't go into it expecting anything. Don't have preconceptions. Just kind of go into it expecting to have a good time. I would say that's the only thing. Because every time I've gone into it just expecting to have fun, I have. Uh, don't get too serious about competition. You know, com friendly competition is good, but just go in uh, hoping to have a good time. So, Alright, thanks guys. I think the thing I've learned the most um, from Landfest is just have fun. Um, we just played DDR. I just did it in, a group of people, in front of a group of people, and it's. I'm a big, I'm a heavy set guy. Look at the back. It's no doubt about that. But it's hilarious just being making an ass of myself, as it were, in front of people. Um, the advice I give to someone who's about to attend the first Landfest is come in with an open mind. Yeah, you may want to only play Left 4 Dead 2. 
but it's a it's, it's an experience. It's hard to describe, you know. Without coming here and doing everything, you'll never understand what Land Fest is. You may understand what a land party is, but you'll never understand the heart of what.